All right, so after removing all of the wires in the previous video, we realized that we needed to remove these aluminum brackets overhead. One, because they were kind of dangerous, and two, because we also needed to remove them for the height for a finished build. We just grind these smooth. Nice, right, so that one was killer. Hmm? That one kept slicing me in the head. Mm -hmm. There's one. So while Tim finished up cutting off the aluminum brackets, I went ahead and went outside to see if I could figure out the game plan for removing these strobe lights. So I first just needed to remove the first one to see what was behind it. I just needed a Phillips screwdriver to remove them. Our initial thought was we could reuse this metal and create some plates by sketching out the current shape of them. But we ended up refining this idea a little bit later on, which we actually lost the footage of, but we did end up making our own plates and putting them up for the strobe delete. But we will, but we'll discuss that more in a later video. We then proceeded to remove the light bar up front and it was held on by some wires in the middle so you just had to cut those out. Alright, just set it down for a sec. You grab the dikes? Yeah. Oh, there's wires. <laughs> Big ones? Well, why couldn't you let go? But it's all the wires. You want me to climb up there because I'm I weigh less? But of course they left these big holes where they were bolted to the ambulance. So then we realized we needed to clean up that area with some acetone and get some flex seal for a temporary covering until we can figure out a permanent fix. Oh, it's not that heavy. Acetone, slot those patches on it for now. Yeah, you'll probably have to get up there to clean that out. Yeah, I will. Yikes, look at that. Algae on that side. You pronounce algae? Okay. I'm putting this on our headboard. No. We gotta eat. Alright, let's go and eat some and get ready for the gym. I'm already ready for the gym, just gotta wash my hands. You're wearing those to the gym. No, I just gotta change oh, and wash. Oh, already hands. ready, but you gotta change in, Tracy. Uh oh. Until we meet again, Tina the ambulance van. Tina the ambulance? We have not named her ambulance Tina. I don't know what to name it yet. Probably. She strikes me more of like a Gertrude. Why are all vehicles females? Why can't they be dudes? Alright, Tyrell and this. Tyrell? <laughs> what to name our ambulance? Copper, do you have an idea? Hmm? What you want to name it? <laughs> he has no idea. No thoughts. Where's my sandwich, woman? <laughs> <laughs> you can make your own sandwich. We took a break. We had to go to Home Depot. So we exchanged the cordless circular saw for a corded one because it just kept dying and we were not not too thrilled with it. So we got a corded one and then we also got metal blades for the jigsaw and the saw saw. No, just for the saw saw, not the jigsaw. We also picked up some flex seal um, for the holes that are exposed now from the front light bar. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. And then Tim is making a lot of ruckus. Look at this ruckus. I've been trying to tell you. <laughs> Safety first. You just gotta cut it in here. 
you loosen up a little bit and then work it back and forth and voila i get my safety glasses that's two Sweet. that's one two and then there was one over here oh, you got it done quick three i had to change into a back in my work boots <sighs> yes i'm in uh osha approved attire myself i understand <laughs> I'm gonna go change into shorts, actually. Because... So he jumped between using a few different power tools. He used the saw saw for some of the tubing, and then he also used the circular saw for the plates. I should probably put like a shirt on. Yeah, we got all of you. Yeah. Don't do what I do. Well, I'll just put the shoes in. You wipe yourself off first? Yeah. Well, at least I have goggles on. And gloves. It's got to come for something. Well, there's definitely... I like the way it looks without them. Yeah. Looks a lot more simple. Homey. Yep, simple. Just the way we like. All right, I'm about to crawl on top of this roof. All right, just be careful. All right, I'll be in here shying away. Be careful. I will. So while Tim finished that up on the inside, I was on the roof up front sealing up the holes from the light bar. What you doing up there? Trying to clean up this up. I think I'm gonna need more than just acetone. Sponge, you know, with the green side. Green scratch pad? Yeah. Do we have any? One somewhere, I just don't know where. Look. I don't know why I'm still wearing the safety glasses. So, you're cleaning up where we took off the light bar. Yeah. And we're going to try and put this temporarily, this flex tape over the holes just to keep it waterproof until we think of a more permanent fix. Yeah. Do you want me to try putting it up here right now since this one's pretty much done? Yeah, let me cut you off a strip. This stuff says it works underwater. We'll see. Think about that. I got my crazy here. As seen on TV. We don't have TV, so we don't know. It's definitely sticky. I don't know when the rain's supposed to come in again. Try that. Grab the rear Flat. And we definitely think it'll seal it off from the elements. We'll do those other ones and we'll spray the water hose with that far on the seat. And when we went on that Home Depot run, we knew that this flex tape was also going to be used for the holes that were up on the ceiling that needed to be sealed before we could basically finish off the roof. We kind of jumped ahead of ourselves and went ahead and started working on the roof. Hot potato. Good job, boy. Thanks. Metal man. Yeah. Today, we are working on the roof to the ambulance. So first things first, we have to remove the decal, the blue medical cross where you can see that it's an ambulance from a helicopter view. So that needs to get removed with a heat gun, which is probably gonna take a little while. Um, and then we just have to cover up some of the holes. The previous owner put some flex seal over some holes and did not do the best job. So we are gonna fix that up. And then we're also gonna remove the last little bit of the antenna, if Tim hasn't done it already. Antenna. So that's the first thing that we have to do. Then we're gonna grab the degreaser and this handy dandy brush and give it a good cleaning. Make sure everything is all dry. 
and then we can add in some Henry Tropical, which is made for roofs. And this is basically a standard for a lot of like the van lifers and RV builds. It'll say it on here even, RV, trailer, mobile homes, and more. It'll waterproof the roof. And it lowers like, uh, it's like a latex paint, so as the sun hits it, it'll reflect Silicone. a lot of that. 100% silicone. <laughs> Helps to repel the heat instead of attract it to so keep it nice and cool. Uh, hence the name, Henry Tropical. Spoiler alert, we didn't get to the Tropical in this video, but we do later on. But here is a spoiler alert from many months later. We actually really don't like it and would not recommend it. Oh boy, that's a long story, but yeah. We are actually kind of not fans of Henry Tropical. We ended up doing the Henry Tropical way later after prepping it all because we did end up wanting to do a permanent fixture on those holes, likewise on all the other holes from the light bar and where all the strobes are. So definitely subscribe to this channel if you want to see that. That will be, of course, in a later video. All right. So where are you at right now? How did you get up here without this thing falling over? Alright, so, need to cover up this hole, getting this off, gotta clean it, and then we can finish it. Alright, you want me to heat gun this? Now we need to clean around these flex seal. Then we need a bucket. Well. So I'll go down, I'll bring you the acetone and some. Here's a towel. Thank you. I'll let you pass me all this stuff. Yep. We'll get the flex seal put on. Acetone. Thank you. Flex seal. Scissors. Good. Alright, well, while you do that, I'll start sanding, I guess. You've never seen the hand before? Or well, probably the talk of the neighborhood. Probably. <laughs> That's probably the HOA. What the hell is that doing in my neighborhood? I'm gonna say that we couldn't be our free American selves. I'm just gonna tell him I'm a plumber and it's my work truck. Just can't tell me I'm not. <laughs> I mean, we are. We're gonna be. I am a plumber and an electrician and a carpenter and a mechanic. Just like nail polish, remember? The big gruncher. What? What do you need a bucket? Yep. Essentially, whenever we go to paint, we don't want these harsh lines showing up right. through the paint. So I'm taking 120 grit in an orbital sander to kind of knock that line down. 
My goal is not to go all the way through the white paint, but. Yeah, a few times. A few times I've gone a little too far, like right here. Which is not the end of the world because it's not going to rust or anything, but ideally it's just going to kind of get this little feathered effect. So when it's painted, yes, there is more paint build up here, but you're not going to see it because the transition will be smoother. Yeah, right. But that's the move. Looks good. So that's what we're going to do. Now I have to go find our water hose to hose off the roof. And then let's see if it works. So as I finished up cleaning up on the roof, Tim went ahead and knocked down these red lines on the side of the ambulance with a sander. Our initial thought was we were gonna leave it like this before we put on the final paint, just to kind of knock off any harsh lines. But another spoiler alert, now that it is actually fully painted, you know, me editing from the future, we ended up taking off all of the red. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little insight as to why in the next few videos before we paint the ambulance why it looks a little crazy <laughs> it's because we try to knock down those red lines so we just kind of wanted to include that in this video so you guys know where those crazy jackety lines came from Done. That is it for this update on the ambulance conversion series, you guys. If you're enjoying it, make sure you hit the like button on the way out. And in the next video, we will, of course, be showing you the strobe delete. That one definitely took a hot minute. And we'll, of course, give you a rundown of how we created those plates. All right, we'll catch you guys then.